big one tonight. The U.S. military has been investigating UFOs, unidentified flying objects, and weirdly, no one seems to be too worked up about it. The remarkable admission by the Pentagon came as a result of reporting by the New York Times, pretty august publication, which published a story of the mysterious UFO program over the weekend. In response to questions from the Times, Pentagon officials this month acknowledged the existence of the program, insisting that the effort had ended after five years back in 2012. But the former head of that program, Luis Elizondo, told the Times the UF program never shut down, and a successor was appointed after he resigned in October. So what did they find? Quote, the program collected video and audio recordings of reported UFO incidents, including footage from a Navy F-A-18 Super Hornet showing an aircraft surrounded by some kind of glowing aura traveling at high speeds and rotating as it moves. The Navy pilots can be heard trying to understand what they're seeing. There's a whole fleet of them, one exclaims. So, if you think it's nuts that we held the news of an official UFO investigation all the way to Thing 1, you're going to love that we have the official video of a UFO in Thing 2 in 60 seconds. So, no big deal, but the Pentagon has confirmed the existence of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, a $22 million initiative that studied UFOs for at least five years, beginning in 2007, and they released video including a 2004 encounter when two fighter jets chased an oval-shaped white object near San Diego. They also released a second video with cockpit audio as pilots describe what they're seeing. The Pentagon declined to give a date or location. Dude, that is a drone, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 100... That's not our LNS though, is it? It's not. It is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like a thing, it's rotating.